Okay, guys. Got a box in today. Sleepy Creeps Tannery. This is the unboxing video and my review. Okay, guys. So for this video, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do unboxing of this, and uh, I also give you kind of a review of this product. This is Sleepy Creek Tannery and fur dressing uh, out of Wellsburg, Iowa. I'll put the description down below so you guys can check that out as well. Uh, SleepyCreekTannery.com and the phone number will also be in the description down below. Got this little business card on top and. Uh, also, before I get into this, make sure you check out Duke Traps, uh, Season 5, Trapping the Jinx sponsor, and uh, they're going to sponsor our stuff, so Duke Traps, check them out. I sent off two beaver, one raccoon, and five coyotes. Uh, cost me $241 altogether, and I sent this out, let me see here. Cost me $36 to send it out April the 3rd. It's now July the 23rd. So it went about three months and two weeks. So pretty good turnaround on that. I was expecting to get this back in September. I think it would have been about six months turnaround or almost quite six months. And, uh, so that's what I sent out. Two beaver, one raccoon, five coyotes. And I've got my Kansas coyotes in here as well. And two beaver cost $29 each at $58. Uh, one raccoon uh, was $19. All of these are soft tan. I've got uh, five coyotes, soft tan or case tan as well. So the top of the box, just open it up, I've got my my invoice here and some of my fur. I'm gonna get that out. All right, here we go, guys. So uh, this uh, this one's got no lip. This is a Missouri coyote, and I'll show it to you a little better soon. Here's the one of the beaver. Looks pretty good. It came out all right. Nice and soft. One big hole there on the side. Another coyote. This would have been another Missouri coyote. Uh, I'll get it out for you. Hold on. Get all my coyotes out. They dropped my bottom lip. So that was the only way that I could have told. Wait a second. Nope. These are my bottom lips. Never mind. The bottom lip of coyotes. Or my Kansas coyotes. That's pretty. I'll get them all out for you here in a second. Here's our our uh, cinnamon raccoon that uh, was sent off by a young trapper. I sent that in here with it. Not bad. Okay, guys. So here is uh, all my fur out. Uh, the cut marks are going to be my my mistakes evidently um i don't usually make too many mistakes when i handle fur but now the ears on these i didn't cut the cartilage out on the back side which i learned how to do that at the lkl this last year so they're all kind of that's a raccoon but the cartilage on the, the coyotes is still intact and then the cartilage on the nose too so i always dock it as soon as i can but you can see right here the cartilage is still a little bit remaining which uh it's not as good as it should be um of course i'm learning as well you'll want to uh, take the cartilage all the way out flip the ear um and i learned that out the lkl when i was in kansas so they'll come out better if you it takes a, a learning process to get the cartilage out on the ears all the way. Um, but that probably would have turned out a little better as far as how the ears look. But they're not too bad. So if you, you know. Um, overall, these are the Kansas Coyotes. I left the lips on them. That's how I could kind of tell 
the Kansas ones uh, was because of the lips. So this one here would have probably been my first Kansas coyote. Real pretty on that. And then this one here would have been the other one that I, that I sent out. It's a little nicer. Beavers come out pretty good. Um, they're still nice and soft. Uh, this is the one that had the cut marks. But, you know, overall not too bad. Turnaround time was good. Um, here's the beat. The, here was the cinnamon raccoon. It was kind of a neat, neat catch. Um, and there you go. So, overall, I'm pretty well pleased. Uh, the turnaround time was good. The leather looks, you know, satisfactory. I mean, it's soft. Uh, I don't want to compare it to other tanneries I've sent to Fox, I've sent to Moyles. And I will probably continue to do business with Sleepy Creek. Turnaround time was pretty good for that. Uh, I would recommend using them. I would probably give them a, I'd give them a seven out of 10 right now. So it's kind of how I feel on that. Uh, I don't know the faces on these. I don't know. That's what I'm gonna go with right now anyways. So like I said, I've sent to Moyles, I've sent to Fox. Um, the, the, the people that were really good to deal with on these, uh, called them up, uh, sent them over there. Um, if you do it that way, and then they just called me, um, about a week or two ago and gave me my price and I paid, uh, over the phone with a credit card and that's kind of how that worked. So pretty well pleased with that. Um, down in the description below is, is, uh, Sleepy Creek Tannery, check them out, go ahead and use them, and uh, here's my first, so it came out pretty good. Overall, I'm pretty well satisfied. I'll be able to, I'll be able to enjoy these memories that I had of catching this fur. I'll put it in my, my man room, and uh, yeah, there you go. So check them out. I'm Jinx. Have a great day.